it's Liz, and today I thought I would show you what music I like. I already filmed this. Let me move my mouse. Okay, I already filmed this, but it turned out to be really long, and, like, I don't want to edit that much. So, we're going to do this again. But, yeah, look into Liz's life number 10. I'm going to show you my music, and we're already on 10, guys. We did this together. What you watched, I filmed. So, yeah. Um, so, I just have a list of artists on my iTunes. Only the artists that I actually listed. I didn't want to go through every single one, because that would be a lot. Because I used to download music. I didn't want to pick the artist with only one song because I wouldn't know that much about them. And then I didn't pick some artists that like I didn't know that well because I just don't, I mean I just bought some of their songs. So let's just get started with this and I rated them out 5 stars if you guys are wanting. So, and then I give two reasons if I like them, um, why I like them, and then if I, one I like them and then why I rate them down if I rate them down. So first one is the Academy is, and I give them four stars because they are an upbeat band, but I just don't really listen to music, so I can't really say that much about them. Next is All Time Low. I give them five star, five stars because they have catchy lyrics, and I know this shouldn't really count because it's music and everything, but uh, they have really awesome personalities, and that just makes me love their music more because they are funny guys, and they're really down to earth, I feel like. so. Next is All Mayor Can Rejects, and I give them four so stars. Not songs, um, because they have good vocal notes, expressions. I, um, it's one song, wait. Like Heart Slowing Down by them, and then also, um, that's toxic and the place where I miss them. Sunny that long again. Don't you want to Um, Heart Slowing Down, like, one of them, and then, I forgot the name, but it's, like, Doctor Doctor, can you please prescribe me some predicaments? It's, like, off the newest album, I'm pretty sure. So, that, he has really, like, different expressions, uh, vocal expressions, and Heart Slowing Down, I really like how he changes it a lot. Well, it changes his expressions, and then they have catchy songs. And then, Trash Gambino, I gave him five stars, because he actually raps good and fast, um, unlike other rappers here and he does have those moments where he kind of sings because I feel like all rappers do that but that's not surrounding his song like some rappers actually surround their song with singing and it's really annoying it's like what you're a singer now uh and I really like the way he speaks I know that's kind of weird but I like the way he like uses um his words expression so yeah um next is Ed Sheeran I give him five stars because he has meaningful lyrics like every song there's a story behind it and then also he has great fantastic vocals, I think. Next is Hello, Ho Hello Hollywood. I give them four stars because they're a classic alternative band. They're like kind of, I don't know how old they are, but they're kind of going back to like the Simple Plan, Auburn Pacific, Yellow Card kind of days, and I really like that. But the thing is, with those musics, I kind of got tired of them really fast. I mean, don't get me wrong, all those bands are amazing. I love them to death, but there's songs you could get tired of really fast, except for Simple Plan and Yellow Card. They were amazing. I'm Pacific, too. I guess then. Okay, that just, like, scratched out everything. But, um, their songs can get tiring if you listen to them over and over again. Next is the Arcris account. I'll show you how I spell it. It's right there, the account. Um, I really don't know how to say it, but I give them four song. I mean, four stars, because... They have slow songs, um, and slow songs, I like them, but I feel like all their songs are slow. I mean, don't get me wrong, I know they have, like, like Camera Action, Obsessed with the Stars, and those, like, the fastest songs off the album I listen to, Love is the Answer, but I still feel like they're just slow songs, I don't know why. Uh, and next, he has a super unique voice, like, it's probably the, one of the most unique voices I ever heard. Um... Next is Josh Ritter, and I give him four stars because I love folk, and he has a unique background with instruments. That's one of the reasons I love folk so much, because they incorporate the banjo and all different kinds of instruments that make it sound better. Next is Macklemore and Ryan Lewis, and I give them uh, five stars because they have meaningful lyrics, but they also have fun with their music, like And We Dance, Thrift Shop, but then there's also serious ones like Starring Over, it's about drugs. And that jazz, um, I guess that's not jazz, that's really bad, so take that back. Um, uh, and he actually raps, like Josh Gambino, he raps fast, I like it, and I, it's a good rapper. Next is, <laughs> what did I just do with my lips? I feel like I was like, 
Anyways, next is the main, and I give them five stars because I feel like they've grown so much as a band. I feel like they used to sing about girls, how hot they were, how I have puppy love, crush kind of stuff. They didn't say puppy love, but it was kind of pretty much along the lines there. But now they came out with a song saying, like, uh, it was called Good Love, and it's like, good love will find me. Like, it loves out there. It's going to find me. And I feel like that they've grown so much, and that's one of the reasons I love them. And next is they're starting to get more rock, I feel like. They used to be kind of a little, little more, like, pop punk kind of thing. And I feel like now they're getting more rock, and I really like that. Uh, next is Maroon 5, and this is actually the lowest stars I uh, gave anyone. Because, I don't know why, Maroon 5 is just not really in my genre, I feel like, of music. I am not picking with my music at all, except for country. I do not like country. Uh, but, I don't know why. I just Their newest album with, like... Payphone, Daylight, and uh, One More Night, even though I love all three of those songs. just don't really like it. I don't know why, but I gave them three song, uh, three stars because I just, like I said, the album, I don't really like it. And then their songs, I feel like, can get annoying. But don't get me wrong, like, I love some of their songs, um, so I'm not saying I hate the band. But next is May Day Parade, and I give them five stars because they have really strong lyrics, and I think they're so meaningful, some of them. Uh, and I love when bands, like, have really strong lyrics, as you guys could tell, probably. Uh, and they have good instrument background. Uh, um, it just, I don't know, I feel like it goes so good. I mean, like, all bands have to do it, but theirs just goes so good. It's like Josh Ritter. Next is Mumford and Sons. I give them five stars because they're upbeat band, and I really like that one. Like, it's really happy and gets you excited, and you do your homework. This actually, like, it helps me concentrate on homework. I, I don't know why I said that weird you probably could. okay let's just go back uh and then unique lyrics instruments and etc seriously guys this is, they're amazing i love freaking mom for instance death they have incorporate the banjo like i said like i love when they're folk rock music so i love when they incorporate the banjo they're not pop pop i don't know they're not pop i don't know why people are saying they're pop it's really annoying me um i heard country one time too and oh, that killed me but yeah, they're a folk rock band, if you guys are wondering. Uh, and they originate of England, I believe. That's not important. But yeah, and their lyrics are like different than any other ones. Like Colin wrote, it's like, whoa, there's a guy on the road. No, it's not about that. But like, it's like random stuff that, not like name, oh, this girl, I like her. It's like random stuff like that. And Josh Ray is kind of the same thing. Next is Panic at the Disco. And I give them five songs because, five stars. I don't know why I keep saying songs. I give them five stars, though, because I love his singing. I don't know why. It just gets me... He's, like, always singing happy. I don't know. Even if it's, like, a weird song. He's singing happy. Um, and then I love how they always have the different music video approaches. Like, 9 in the afternoon, they could have done, like, a band in the basement playing music. But they, like, incorporated different stuff. Uh, I know they broke up, if you guys are wondering. So, like, this is the whole thing. But, um... They, like, incorporate big clocks, like, a dream kind of, like, world, I feel like. So, I like how they have really different approaches than everyone else in the music business. And then, like, obviously the girls, they always do dance videos. It's, like, not different approaches that happen so much. Anyways, uh, next is Parachute. I give them four, star four stars because they have unique lyrics because I don't think anyone could come up with that stuff that they come up with. It's not like Mom Friend Sons with, like, the weird nature kind of stuff. I don't feel like it's nature, but... The weird, like, oldish kind of stuff, like, names and everything, it's, um, kind of like, I don't know, it's so hard to explain, but it's really, it's like, what I know, it's about a girl leaving, but, just the way they express, and then forever and always, they literally tell a story in their song, so, I really like that, and then, uh, the only thing is, the lyrics can get annoying, like, halfway, I do not like that song at all, I don't know why, I feel like it's kind of the beat, so, I guess not to do with the lyrics, but, if you listen to it over and, ago, over and over again, you can't get tired of it. Next is Pierce the Veil, and I give them five stars because he has a really unique voice. Oh my gosh. Everything's unique on my list, isn't it? And the other one is they have lots of energy, which I really like. So, next is Sleeper and Sirens, and I give them five so stars, not songs. I was about to say that because they have a unique sound, the lyrics are unique, and everything's freaking unique in that band. I really like them. And next is Yellow Card, and I give them five stars because they have un 
unique. Oh my gosh. Okay, unique sound with the violin. They're actually a band with that has a violin in the band, and I don't know why, but anything you put a violin in it, that's like a that kind of band. I'll instill. Ow. <laughs> oh my gosh. I made my nails start bleeding because I cut them too short and just snapped my finger. Ow. Okay, I'm gonna need a band aid soon. Um, uh, but anything you put a violin in it, I'm gonna love it if it's like alternative kind of stuff. So I don't know why it is, but yeah. Uh, next, catchy lyrics. There's a song called 10, which is like really strong lyrics about a kid that actually dies. And like, it's like, oh, if you were here, oh, that, I kind of did that happily. If you were here, like, this would be this and like that would be that kind of stuff. And then also, um, uh, here I am alive is about like not giving up your dreams no matter what anyone says. And the last band I have is Yumi at six. I give them five stars because they are catchy, powerful lyrics. Like stay with me. Oh my gosh, I cannot stress you enough how much I love that song. It's so powerful. Like it's a about I believe uh, my friend told me about ex girlfriend or something. So and like oh. and then he has a unique voice. He's British. I'm not crazy about the British people. Like, when I say that, I mean, I like British people, but I'm just saying, like, some people are like, oh, they're British, I love them. <laughs> like, I, you have to win my love over it. That's with everyone, with, like, bands and kind of stuff. And he won my love over with his unique voice, so I really like it. Uh, so that is my music, and it was kind of still long. I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry I mumbled a little bit. But, yeah, that being said, talk to you later. And if you have any requests for the next look into Liz's life, please comment in the comments below, yeah, <laughs> and bye!